Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about Fleabag Season 1 and whether it's worth a watch. So Fleabag is a show created by and starring British playwright and performer Phoebe Waller-Bridge. And it's set in contemporary London about a middle-class woman struggling through life, dealing with her failing cafe, her on-again, off-again relationship, dating, difficult family, amongst a million other problems. This show is a black comedy with brutally honest characters and themes that present an honest reflection of modern-day self-loathing. The protagonist is obsessed with sex, masquerades as a self-righteous and independent woman, meanwhile masking many of her insecurities, pains and scars. The way that the story is presented to us is through the mind of the protagonist. We, we don't ever know her name, so it's safe to assume that she is the fleabag. She frequently speaks directly to the audience, breaking the fourth wall. Initially I found it a little bit abrupt and disruptive, however, it is ultimately an effective tool in giving us insights into the fleabag's mind. It gives the audience an insight into her true feelings and thoughts, which are frequently in juxtaposition with her actions and words. Fleabag is an extremely complicated and damaged character, and throughout the show we're revealed more and more layers to her backstory, colouring in reasons for her somewhat questionable decision making and behaviour. This allows us to sympathise with Fleabag, although she is still a bit of a dick. Not only is the main character extremely interesting, other supporting characters such as her sister, father, stepmother, are all extremely complex, and the relationships between each of the characters is unique and relatable, and the show explores each pairing in great detail. I love the scenes that include all the family members, and you can just feel the passive aggressive tones that cut through the fake smiles and hugs of a supposedly loving family, meanwhile we all know their true feelings to one another. Funnily enough, although the characters are interesting, they aren't very likeable at all. None of them seem to be very happy, they all seem to hate their life, their relationships, their jobs, the situations they're in. They don't treat people very nice either, they're all very brash and somewhat rude. I think this is actually one of the biggest charms of the show. It's not afraid to have unlikable characters, because although they are unlikable, they have relatable traits, and you can see elements of yourself within the characters. In a sense, it is a reflection of our own selfish tendencies that we often tend to push aside, and the show puts these negative traits on full display. After watching this show, it sort of caused me to do some self-reflection, because the show is just so honest and brutal. It showed the potential within all of us to be selfish and to not be accountable for our own actions. It showed the downfalls of pride and the need to be always right and never apologizing when you're wrong. People often do terrible things and later justify their actions or say that they just don't know why they did that. But deep down they know they know the reason and it, it needs some self-reflection and typically it's because of their own selfishness or their own need for validation or something of that nature. It's a lesson that the characters of Fleabag need to learn, to be brutally honest with oneself, even if it's tough to hear, and to be able to accept honest criticism, especially from one's family. And it'll be interesting to see how they get there, if they ever do. So it's safe to say Fleabag is an extremely easy watch. There's only one season with six episodes, each 30 minutes long. The characters are so interesting and in-depth, and I just can't wait to see more of them. It may be extremely upfront and in your face, and that might make some people uncomfortable, but it's not simply for the shock factor. It's merely a raw and unfiltered magnifying lens on our modern life. So I would say, Fleabag is most definitely worth a watch right now. Thank you guys again for watching this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more of this stuff, please be sure to subscribe. If you've seen Fleabag, please comment down below and let me know what you thought. And if you have any other suggestions for TV shows or movies I should review, then comment them down below as well. Thank you.